everybody welcome back to my stage four journey uh if this is your first time here welcome my name is chris and i'm living with stage four kidney cancer and this uh channel is dedicated to my day-to-day -day life of uh, dealing with that issue and um, just showing what me and my family go through on a day-to-day -day basis and uh we do fun things, we do serious things, we talk about serious things, and we just show my day-to-day -day life and what I do and how I deal with the situation I've been dealt. And um, if this is your first time here, um, I suggest you go back and, and check out some of my other videos and learn a little bit more about me and my family and uh, what we're about. and. Uh, You'll be able to catch up on, on on different things that I've been doing and dealing with, and um, one of those things is COVID. I, I'm just getting over COVID. Uh, most of you know that uh, I was down for about a week, uh, about eight days down with uh, with COVID, and um, this is I think day twelve uh, since dealing with that, and I'm feeling a lot better and i'm still kind of tiredish at times but uh i feel a lot better so we decided to come down here to our camp along the potomac river and uh, we we did back the camper down on the lot there a couple weeks ago um but that was about it so we got uh, back down here today and um, i'll just show you we're right along the Potomac River and uh, everything's starting to turn green and uh, looks like the grass is going to be needing mowed soon but uh, yeah we, we got a lot of work to do down here to get camp open and um, I thought originally I wasn't going to show you guys anymore until we had it completely done but I thought well I'll show you what I have to go through to uh, get our camp open um, we do have electric service here on our lot and um, so we do have electric but we don't have uh, running water I mean we don't have and as you can hear our campground is next to a set of railroad tracks um, and sometimes it's noisy but uh, after you're here a while, you just don't don't even hear it anymore. But uh, I grew up next to um, a very busy set of railroad tracks. There was two railroad tracks, and our house was about oh I don't know 75 feet away from those dual sets of tracks. And um, I'm used to it. Uh, we didn't have a, a straight picture on the wall at the house growing up, and um, like I said, it was very busy. So down here it doesn't bother us one bit but um, anyhow back to the water system um, we, we, we don't have actual running water to our lot they, they have water service here uh, and I'm gonna show you uh, might as well go ahead and just show you now but uh, we end up you have to get these big water tanks and uh, we got these big water tanks. It's a 300 gallon water tank. And uh, we fill them up. And uh, they, like I said, they have water service here and they, they charge 30 bucks a load uh, for the 300 gallons, which isn't bad. Um, they bring it right to you, um, but I'm cheap. Um, and one thing we have at our house and we have a lot of is uh, water so i don't pay for it i'm i'm too cheap so i got an extra tank and i got the trailer so i hold my own water down and i transfer it myself one of those tanks lasts us about a month we can get a month out of it and uh you know we're just uh washing dishes and and taking showers um we have to use a porta pot so we have a port pot and uh, that gets cleaned out as, as we need it um, 
or we can get a service where they come in weekly we used to have it weekly but uh here lately it's just Cheryl and I most of the time down here and it just didn't pay to have that thing cleaned out every every week so we usually get it cleaned out before we have guests coming and after guests uh, come uh, we'll have it cleaned out but for the most part it usually lasts us about a month before we have to worry about that but anyhow back to the water system um, we fill that water tank up and they have these tanks here and I'll, I'll pull it out here and show you in a little bit that's kind of a, a, a mess looking thing there but it's a it's a harbor freight pressure tank well pump it's a shallow well pump that we set up and uh, I'll show you um, that's what I'm going to show you today is how we hook that up and we hook that right into the the water tank and then it goes right into the camper and um, you know when you get here you turn the water pump on and uh, you have water and uh, it works great it's probably our fifth or sixth year of using that pump and uh, it works great so uh, that's what we're going to do today is i'm going to get the water system running get everything hooked up and get water going into the camper so we can wash dishes and get showers and um, i thought i would show you and uh, do a little review on this harbor freight pump and just show people how you can uh, do this I guess it's you can consider it live off living off grid I mean we don't really live but uh, it's off grid and but it, it does take electric to run it so it's not really off grid but uh, it's just how we do it down here and um, it's been working out real well we used to gravity feed water into the holding tank and in, in the old camper that we had and I wasted a lot of water because I would be feeding it over and then I would <laughs> I'd forget about it and I'd look down and water would be running all over the ground and half of it would be wasted and and that's another reason why I don't buy water anymore is because I, I just wasted a lot of it and uh, we like to keep our camper clean and uh, so you know I washed the camper a good bit and I gotta I gotta scrub the roof and I said we go through a little bit more water than I think some people and I, I just can't see paying paying for it, but uh, I, I you know I appreciate them having having that here for us for sure, and and I have bought I have bought from from many times, and I do if I am in a bind and I'm running low or something, I I, I will get a load, but uh, I just you know like I say it's one thing we got a lot of at the house, and our water is good water, it's really good water, and I have the equipment to do it, and I have the time, so I, I just. I just do it myself so anyhow I'm getting long winded like I usually do I'm gonna get you guys set up on a uh, uh, tripod and get you sitting out here and I will uh, be back with you and show you how we go about hooking up this water system so hang in there and we'll see you in a few minutes Okay, so here's this tank I was telling you all about. I'm gonna see if I can show you a little better here. It's just a. This is the pump, and it's a holding tank there. It's a pressure tank, and uh, this is the pressure switch, and. Uh, what I found out was you have to put a check valve in here going into the pump because if you hook it up to this tank without having that check valve in, it, uh, it'll actually pull the water out of the pump back into the tank and uh, you lose your prime every time. So you got to have this check valve in there and uh, 
you can see I had to do a couple of different size fittings and then this is the coming out this is the exit and then I have one side here that goes over to the camper and then this one is just a hose that we keep around for you know spraying off the golf cart and and what we use for cleaning the roof off and stuff like that but uh, first I got to I got a new fitting I had to put on here because I, I broke the other one so I've got a new fitting to put on here and then I'll hook the, the hose into that and once I get that fitting on I can start running the water out of uh, the other tank and put it into um, this tank but uh, for right now I'll I need to hook some fittings up so that's what we're going to do right now okay this this is the fitting I was talking about I got to put on the tank it's a two inch pipe fitting and then uh, you have to put this other fitting on there and then take it down to a garden hose size and uh, I gotta put this on there but first I'm gonna wrap some thread tape around that Okay, well that wasn't a very clean job, but I think it's going to work. What happened with that other fitting was I over tightened it and I snapped it. So, I'm not going to over tighten this one. I think that's going to be tight enough. Um, I'm not going to hook this hose up yet. I'm going to go ahead and transfer water into this tank and, and just there's a little bit of sediment laying in the bottom so I'm going to put a, a little bit of water in here just to flush out that bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up and then I'll show you what I got to do for that. Okay. So, to transfer, I ended up having to buy a new pump this year because the other one quit working last year. So, it's just a sump pump. I got this at Harbor Freight too. And uh, I drop it down inside the top of that tank. And uh, run a hose over to the other one. Okay, now we just wait. I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and put some Teflon tape around this fitting and put that up. Tighten that one, or I'll end up busting it. And I'm gonna slide this pump back so that is not tight. There. Okay, one thing we got to do when we put water in these tanks down here because we're sitting outside and, and the sun's hitting it and stuff. You have to get, some people use bleach, but I use this bottle of stuff and uh, I get it at Walmart in the RV section. And uh, it says it uh, actually does one ounce per 20 gallon. And this is 16 ounces, so you can do the math, but I usually, I think it's a little more than 300 gallon, but I just dump the whole bottle in there and that seems to keep the water nice and fresh it's probably just a, a form of, of bleach that's diluted or something i don't know but uh it's like five dollars a bottle but uh, i went ahead and put it in the other water tank when i filled it up so it gets mixed up real good on, on the ride down so i put that in so that's done and uh, next what we need to do is you don't really need to but uh i use these RV water filters and uh, I usually just use the one a season I get through a, a whole season it's one it's comes another train but uh, just an inline water filter and uh, I think they're around $20 I know you can get, get some cheaper elsewhere but once again Walmart uh, they have them in the RV section and uh, this goes right before it goes into the camper so uh, I'll show you that here in a second I got to go grab another fitting out of the toolbox for the uh, camper so I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I got this fitting here. And uh, it's just a 45 degree angle. So it's uh, not uh, hanging. And this just goes into the city cup water connection. Okay, so then you take the hose coming from the, the pressure tank and the filter gets screwed into that. You don't have to ever tighten it or you'll break it. And then this is a flex hose that comes with it. It goes on the top. And then it hooks 
to me there. And that's it. That's uh, it's easy as that. And uh, this hose will lay down, find a spot to lay down nice and flat. And uh, now I've already put the uh, plug back in the, the water heater, and uh, the inside of the camper is ready to go. Um, I might have to get some water in put in in the pump here to prime it uh, sometimes it just will go ahead and, and fill itself up but uh, other times it doesn't seem to want to prime itself but uh, that's where we're at it's real easy it took me what not even a half hour to do all that and uh, it'll take about uh, 40 minutes or so to, to pump the water over to from the one tank to the other one and uh, yeah so that's where we're at so I'm gonna let that water pump over a little bit further and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run another cord for this pump and get ready to get that going and uh, we'll be back in a little bit and show you what we got okay so we're gonna try to plug it in and see what happens Got a little bit of water leaking here. I've got that shower must be turned on in there because that Okay, so that's turned off. I'm still got some water leaking there, so I must be missing a, a rubber washer in there. So I'm gonna unplug this. Try to do this with one hand. Yep, it's missing a rubber washer. So, I should have that somewhere. Let me look for it. Okay. It was laying in here. I'm just going to steal one out of this because I don't see it laying in there but that should work left you on the tripod there for a while okay that feels a lot better take two
It's still leaking a little bit there. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay, that is still cycling on and off. So there must be air in the line somewhere. So we're going to go inside here and see if we can figure out what's going on. There we are, inside. Hello. It's Cheryl's cleaning. Let's see what in the world is going on. I think it might have just been because there's air in the line. I told you to check. And we're still getting air through the water, hot water. Okay, here we go. Hot water is looking better. Okay. I think uh I think you got it. Well I'm gotta get the air out of the lines out of the bathroom. So I'm coming in that way. I gotta get the air out of here. Cold good. Hot's good. Now shower. I love the shower. It's nicer than the shower at the house. So the hot good. Cold's good. So I think we should be good. So um, let's listen to see if that pump quits cycling. It did. It's not cycling anymore. So yeah, I think we're good. I think we got the water running. I uh, will turn the hot water or the water heater on so the water gets hot. And uh, but uh, yeah, here's here's our home away from home. Uh, we just love it. Uh, we did just get this a couple years ago, and it's just so uh, comfortable and relaxing uh, down here and. It's got one of those electric fireplaces and us got this smart TV for us watching movies, but this is why we come down right here. It was all about the view. We had to have that big window so we could sit in here. I get the lazy boy. She gets the couch, but I'll tell you what, this couch, when I come down here by myself, I sleep on this couch because it is very comfortable and I guarantee you, if you come and sit on this couch, you will fall asleep. Uh, the chairs are nice, but wow, that couch is something else. But uh, yeah, this is why we come down here, right here, uh, that view, and uh, we get to watch all the birds and, and uh, the wildlife. We do see deer, and uh, what else do we see? The ducks and the geese and the eagles, eagles and the osprey. There was an osprey that was local, and... Um, I haven't seen it lately, but uh, alligators. Yeah. Alligators. <laughs> All right, so we got the water working. So that's a big thing off my list to do. We're good to go. We got uh, by the time the, the tank is is switched over, we'll have about 280 gallons, and that'll get us through a while. I do want to wash the camper here. Um, we won't do that for a couple weeks. Uh, uh, the trees down here are maple trees, and it gets those helicopter things on there. And I usually wait until 
all the leaves are on the tree and those helicopters are down before I scrub the roof but uh, yeah um, that's about it for right now we're gonna cook some burgers out on the grill here in a little bit and uh, we'll see you before uh, we take off out of here so we will see y'all in a little bit okay you ready <laughs> <laughs> all right well we got the burgers cooked up and uh, we did a couple cheeseburgers a couple of regular burgers and we got uh, potato salad and coleslaw Cheryl's going big tonight she must be her uh, hungry. hungry she's getting hangry yeah. but uh, this is our view at dinner right here we got the uh, leaves turning green and got a lot of flowers coming along the riverbank over there we still got a lot of work to do down here got to put the top on the tarp on the the roof here i have to order one online because nobody has one in stock so i gotta get that ordered and we got some more carpets to put out and get the picnic tables and what else we, got? we gotta hang swing the swing My and swing. yeah we gotta hang the swing over there and lights we gotta hang lights and uh then we might be able to relax down here a little bit so looking forward to spending some time down here and just relaxing and taking in the sights and uh, a little bit of heaven here it is a little bit of heaven and uh, it's west by god virginia we're in so all right so we're going to finish out the video uh with all that said and yeah we're gonna eat dinner and uh we're we thank you all for coming along on my journey and what a journey it's been and we look forward to seeing you all next time on my stage four journey and bye. i'm hungry bye bye <laughs>